where foreseeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race which is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Good morning to you. I'm Father Jonathan Rowe. I'm the parish priest at St. Michael's Anglican Church, the church in Kenmount Terrace. It's Wednesday, the 13th of October, and I want to thank you for joining us as we gather online to pray the Office of Morning Prayer. I'm going to take a few moments to light a candle to symbolize the prayers of the scattered church, continuing to ascend into heaven even if we can't physically gather for worship. You can do the same along with me if you'd like, and when we're ready, the service of morning prayer will begin on page 6, 6 in the Book of Common Prayer. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Lord is glorious in his saints. O come, let us worship. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, O oh, that he would hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with that generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways. Unto whom I swear in my wrath, that they should not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is glorious in his saints. O oh, come, let us worship. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 119, verses 1 to 24, beginning on page 485. Blessed are those that are undefiled in the way, and walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies, and seek him with their whole heart. Even they that do no wickedness, but walk in his ways. Thou hast ordained thy precepts, that we should diligently keep them. O oh, that my ways were made so direct, that I might keep thy statutes. So shall I not be confounded, while I have respect unto all thy commandments. I will thank thee with an unfeigned heart, when I shall have learned the judgments of thy righteousness. I will keep thy statutes. O oh, forsake me not utterly. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? even by ruling himself after thy word. With my whole heart have I sought thee. O oh, let me not go astray from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid within my heart, that I should not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord. O oh, teach me thy statutes. 
With my lips have I been telling of all the judgments of thy mouth. I have had as great delight in the way of thy testimonies as in all manner of riches. I will meditate upon thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. My delight shall be in thy statutes, and I will not forget thy word. O do well unto thy servant, that I may live and keep thy word. Open thou mine eyes, that I may see the wondrous things of thy law. I am a sojourner upon earth. O hide not thy commandments from me. My soul breaketh out for the very fervent desire that it hath alway unto thy judgments. Thou hast rebuked the proud, and cursed are they that do err from thy commandments. O turn from me shame and rebuke, for I have kept thy testimonies. Princes also did sit and speak against me, but thy servant is occupied in thy statutes. For thy testimonies are my delight and my counselors. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first lesson is written in the book of the prophet Jeremiah the 37th chapter, beginning at the third verse. King Zedekiah sent Jehuchal, the son of Shelemiah, and Zephaniah the priest, the son of Maaseiah, to Jeremiah the prophet, saying, Pray for us to the Lord our God. Now Jeremiah was still going in and out among the people, for he had not yet been put in prison. The army of Pharaoh had come out of Egypt, and when the Chaldeans, who were besieging Jerusalem, heard news of them, they withdrew from Jerusalem. Then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet. Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel. Thus shall you say to the king of Judah, who sent you to me to inquire, who sent you to me to inquire of me. Behold, Pharaoh's army, which came to help you, is about to return to Egypt, to its own land. And the Chaldeans shall come back and fight against the city. They shall take it and burn it with fire. Thus says the Lord, do not deceive yourselves, saying, The Chaldeans will surely stay away from us, for they will not stay away. For even if you should defeat the whole army of Chaldeans who are fighting against you, and there remained of them only wounded men, every man in his tent, they would rise up and burn this city with fire. Now when the Chaldean army had withdrawn from Jerusalem at the approach of Pharaoh's army, Jeremiah set out from Jerusalem to go to the land of Benjamin to receive his portion there among the people. When he was at the Benjamin gate, a sentry there named Erijah, the son of Shelemiah, son of Hananiah, seized Jeremiah the prophet, saying, You are deserting to the Chaldeans. And Jeremiah said, It is false, I am not deserting to the Chaldeans. But Erijah would not listen to him, and seized Jeremiah, and brought him to the princes. And the princes were enraged at Jeremiah, and they beat him and imprisoned him in the house of Jonathan the secretary, for it had been made a prison. When Jeremiah had come to the dungeon cells and remained there many days, King Zedekiah sent for him and received him. The king questioned him secretly in his house and said, Is there any word from the Lord? Jeremiah said, There is. Then he said, You shall be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon. Jeremiah also said to king Zedekiah, What wrong have I done to you or your servants or this people that you have put me in prison? Where are your prophets who prophesied to you, saying, The king of Babylon will not come against you and against this land? Now here I pray you, O Lord, my, O my Lord the king, let my humble plea come before you. And do not send me back to the house of Jonathan the secretary, lest I die there. So King Zedekiah gave orders, and they committed Jeremiah to the court of the guard. And a loaf of bread was given him daily from the baker's street, until all the bread of the city was gone. 
So Jeremiah remained in the court of the guard. Here endeth the first lesson. The Office of Morning Prayer continues on page 7. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee. The Father of an infinite majesty, thine honorable, true, and only Son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God, in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints, in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine heritage. Govern them, and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. The second lesson is written in the first epistle of St. Paul to the Corinthians, the 14th chapter, beginning at the 13th verse. (coughs) Excuse me. Therefore, he who speaks in a tongue should pray for the power to interpret. For if I pray in a tongue, my spirit prays, but my mind is unfruitful. What am I to do? I will pray with the spirit, and I will pray with the mind also. I will sing with the spirit, and I will sing with the mind also. Otherwise, if you bless with the spirit, how can anyone in the position of an outsider say the amen to your thanksgiving, when he does not know what you are saying? For you may give thanks well enough, but the other man is not edified. I thank God that I speak in tongues more than you all. Nevertheless, in church, I would rather speak five words with my mind in order to instruct others than 10,000 words in a tongue. Brethren, do not be children in your thinking. Be babes in evil, but in thinking be mature. In the law, it is written, By men of strange tongues and by the lips of foreigners will I speak to this people, and even then they will not listen to me, says the Lord. Thus, tongues are a sign not for believers but for unbelievers, while prophecy is not for unbelievers but for believers. If, therefore, the whole church assembles and all speak in tongues, and outsiders or unbelievers enter, will they not say that you are mad? But if all prophesy, and an unbeliever or outsider enters, he is convicted by all, he is called to account by all, the secrets of his heart are disclosed. And so, falling on his face, he will worship God and declare that God is really among you. Here endeth the second lesson. The Office of Morning Prayer continues on page 9. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham, 
that he would grant us. That we, being delivered out of the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear. In holiness and righteousness before him, all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people, for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord and ever more mightily defend us. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O Almighty God, who willest to be glorified in thy saints, and didst raise up thy servant Edward the Confessor to shine as a light in the world, shine, we pray thee, in our hearts, that we also in our generation may show forth thy praises, who hast called us out of darkness into thy marvelous light. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, forasmuch as without thee we are not able to please thee, mercifully grant that thy Holy Spirit may in all things direct and rule our hearts. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who hast safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance, to do always that is righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who didst stretch out thine arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that every one might come within the reach of thy saving embrace, so clothe us in thy spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know thee to the knowledge and love of thee, for the honor of thy name. Amen. 
I invite your prayers this morning for all those who are in need of prayer, whether they have particularly asked us to pray for them or whether the Spirit of God puts it into our hearts to pray. As we make intercession this morning, we we are reminded that we are coming into God's presence with them on our hearts. Almighty God, who hast given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Thanks again for praying with us. I hope that these daily services of morning and evening prayer are a blessing to you. And if so, one of the best ways that you can show that is to take a few moments to sign our digital connection card at michaelmas.ca slash connect. Doing that helps us see that there are actually individuals, people like you, real faces, real names, and not just numbers on a screen who are watching these videos and praying along with us. So please do take a moment to let us know. Say, I was here. Visit michaelmiss.ca slash connect. Until the next time we gather, be good. God bless and take care of each other. Bye-bye.